Okay, now moving on to the next stage. Um, I'm going to paint her hair. This on the top part of her wing. This part of her wing that's closest to her body. I think I said her hair. And her shirt. All the same shade of deep violet, which is this color. And it's actually a pink, dark pink. But I'm not going to put any white in it. And you don't have to use that color if you don't want to. You can use whatever color you want to. On the big painting I did of this fairy that was on the 16 by 20, it was mostly purple. Even her hair was a purple. But I'm choosing a dark pink. Now, like when I want to start putting the highlights in, I don't do it right at this second. I want to paint this base color in there first. And to keep your acrylic paint from drying so quick, I really don't like using those mediums that extend it because it makes me have to put more layers and more layers. But what's worked for me before in the past is right now I've just got my paint on, an, on a little paper plate, but if you like used a styrofoam plate or something like that, sometimes I will wet a paper towel thoroughly and then lay that on the plate and then put my paint on that wet paper towel and it seems to really help. Okay, I am going to pause right here just for a second but I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to finish painting her hair, this part of her wing, that part of her wing, but I just want to show you how I do the highlight in the hair. And I'm going to try to make it look like she's back in behind these violets and her hair would be highlighted right here like the sun was coming in this way. So I just get white while that is still kind of wet. I put the majority of the highlights here. And I do take it through a little bit of the pink, too. And then, you know, just a little bit right through here. And like I said, a lot of times I tend to lose the black line that I like. Well, I can kind of still see it a little bit through that paint. I know it's hard for you to see it, but in reality, I can still faintly see it. And then if I want to, I will go back in there later once it dries and put some of those defining marks back in. And see here, I'm just using, I'm just putting another layer and I need to give that a little bit more time to dry before I do that. I'm just putting another layer of that dark pink so it will appear like she's underneath that little violet. See? Okay. I just wanted to show you that real quick so you could see how I did it. Okay. I'm going to finish doing this, this, her hair, 
in her blouse and then I'll come back with the next stage. Okay, now you can see I went ahead and, well I showed you that a minute ago, where I left. I want to leave this a little bit lighter because that's where the sun is coming through. So it would be a little bit lighter. Okay, now I am going to finish. I'm going to get the deep violet paint and get a little white, maybe a shade or two lighter than this and just paint the wings. I'll demonstrate. Give me a second. I mean, every now and then, if you need to wet your brush a little bit to make it smooth better, you can. But be careful because the more the more water that's on the brush, the more layers you're going to have to use. Um, normally, I'm using that Frederick's canvas sheets, but normally I like to use the canvas. It's called Yes Canvas, and I don't even know if they still sell it, but I ordered it. I think it's like from Cheap Joe's. See, I got a little bit too much white down here. So I'm kind of spreading it out a little bit. And I'm going to wipe my brush to get back to that darker color. But what I was saying about the Yes canvas, I like it because it doesn't really have a texture on it. I really don't like the texture of canvas. That's how come I actually prefer painting on masonite panels or flat bass basswood I guess is how you pronounce it panels and bristle because it doesn't have a texture okay just as a point of reference the closer to the body you are a little darker it should be. But that's just the way I do it. And the farther away from the body, the lighter it would be. I must have had a little black right there. Sometimes it smears a little bit. And I forgot to tell you this, you need to period periodically especially if you're switching colors if you don't have cups of water for every color you're going to be using and I don't do that all the time sometimes I do just means less trips to get fresh clean water See, that'll have to be a little bit darker out there because it's kind of in close to the body. Okay, I'm going to finish painting her wing like this medium shade. I might go ahead and put a little bit in her hair. I paint when I'm painting acrylic, especially with this Frederick's canvas, because of the texture, I feel like I have to put more layers. When I use the Yes canvas, I don't seem to have to use as many layers because there isn't a texture. I think it's because I try to hide the texture of that canvas and that's sometimes what takes me a long time. But this Frederick's canvas, well, I just had it handy. I like to use stuff that I really don't have to go to the extra pains of preparing, you know, like watercolor paper. You have to do certain things to that. and.
See, I just about got that a little bit too much water on the brush. Okay. Now, I'm just using primary yellow. To do inside the violets. That little area I left. And there's one more small one down here. Okay, I clean my brush. Uh oh, sorry. I've got this video camera right in front of me, so I'm trying to work around it. And I just want to make a little note here about your brush, your brushes. Don't ever leave them sitting in your paint water cup for very long because it'll ruin your brush. See how it's kind of frayed a little bit? I probably left that in there for just a couple of minutes. And I know I can reshape it back. I love that brush cleaner stuff. And I'll at the end of the video, I'll tell you what kind I use. I love that. But I always clean my brushes. And if you take care of your brushes, they'll last for years and years. I've got one paintbrush that I've probably used for 12 years. And it still looks just as good as it did back when I got it. And it's because I took care of it and always cleaned it. And it's, of course, my favorite brush. And, of course, it cost about 30 bucks. So that's why I was extra sure, extra careful that I made sure that I took care of that one. Okay, now for her eyes, I'm going to break this up a little bit. And I'm going to put, I, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Cerulean blue hue, I think's how you say that. But it's this color. It's a real pretty blue. I'm going to use that in her eyes. I do put just a pinch of white in that. And I go ahead and just kind of just make a swipe down at the bottom. I went ahead and colored that. And I'll just go ahead and fully color it in. Okay, and I'm going to let that dry. Okay. Sometimes if I get real crafty, see in the background where I've already got, you know, some of the purple. Like for the color of her eyes, i got too much water on that brush. It doesn't hurt to water this color right here down, if you'll tend to put the same color of paint, just a very lighter shade or darker shade of it somewhere, it really makes your paint and flow nice. So I lighten that up just a pinch. And I'm just going to drop that blue in a couple of these background. Just anywhere you want to. And you don't have to do that. I just, I like to do that. Because it tends to kind of make her eyes stand out a little bit. You know, just directly over. And I know it's probably hard to see it on the camera. But in reality, that is showing up. You know, just a little bit. Right over top of that bullet, or purple, excuse me. And it makes a real nice look. Don't water it down too much because that background is completely dry. Sometimes I can't sit here even for two hours and do something consistently like that. Sometimes I'll have to break up a small painting in two days because of my schedule. I might put a little bit darker in there. You know, like I said, just little bit and if you get too much we'll just kind of dab it okay now what I'm going to do is let this completely dry everywhere okay 
and I see a dab right here and you will start doing stuff like this too. I went ahead and put a little bit of highlight right there because I'm trying to clean up a little bit you know with white. A couple of areas that looks like it's smudged. Okay now like I said I'm going to totally let this dry and a quick way if you were like really just wanting to go ahead there's been several times that I would get a hair dryer and on the low set and go over the painting about this far from it just to hurry and let it quickly dry so I could go ahead but what I was saying before about those extenders and stuff for acrylic paint I don't really like those because it changes the consistency of the paint and it causes me to have to put more layers than I anticipated and sometimes I'm I'm sure a lot of yins are like me sometimes we're you know kind of strapped for time okay I'm gonna stop messing with it because now sometimes if you keep on messing with your paint and then it not dry you're gonna make mud that's why I don't use oil paints very often they don't dry quick enough to suit me okay I'll be back as soon as that dries